Hey miners, Mining King here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Hive Shell, which is a great tool to troubleshoot your rigs as well as remotely log into your rig so that way you can make some adjustments like update your NVIDIA drivers or update your Hive kernel. So if you're having mining rig problems, this is a great tool to use. So let's get right into it. Please check out our Discord channel down in the uh, description down below. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So as I said before, today we're going to be looking at Hive Shell. So if you're having some rigs go down or uh, you're having rig instability problems, rigs that keep restarting, or uh, you know all kinds of different things. If you're having problems with your rigs and you've already changed out your GPU risers, you've already eliminated other possibilities, you know, like power supplies and things like that. And it's just, you think it has to do with something in Hive. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into the worker itself. We're just gonna go into this one. So you're gonna come up here to the top, the top tool, uh, you know, uh, drop down bar right here. And you go over here to this little arrow with icons and say remote access. And you're gonna click it. And then you're gonna go down to Hive Shell Start. And you're gonna have to give it a moment because right now it's talking to the uh, it's talking to the miner. So we're just gonna wait a second. So then it'll uh, this little white box with the arrow pointing and diagonally will appear, and this is so you could log in. Now I am going to have to blur out my information as this does give my IP address. So you don't ever want to show people this because then they can access your miner or right, change settings. So just be careful, guys. So we're, this is what it'll look like once you click on the Hive Shell and it starts up. You will come to this screen here and at the top of your Windows browser, it'll say Shell in a Box. So you'll have some command lines over here. The first thing we're going to look at is going to be the miner itself. So if you ever want to check your miner, see what, you know, how it's performing. So you just type in miner and then you type in enter. So then we're, so the particular miner I'm using for this particular rig is T-Rex. There's four 1660 supers on this rig. Um, so you come in here, it'll, you can watch the actual miner and, you know, when it's finding shares and things like that. So maybe you're getting in a bunch of invalids or maybe a GPU is dying. It'll say GPU dead and it's restarting the rig. So you could come in here and see, you know, and actually watch your miner and see how it performs. All right, guys, so we are back here at the main uh, menu here. So that was one thing you could do. You guys could physically watch your miner and see how it's performing and things like that. Maybe you could watch it to, when it gives invalid shares. You can also watch it for latency. So that way you can see how many milliseconds it takes to correspond to the mining pool that you're, you're mining to. So you could see what kind of latency you're getting. Maybe you're mining off of Wi-Fi and maybe you're not having very good latency to the server. So that's a that's one useful thing. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to look at is we're going to look at the HiveOS kernel. We're going to come back to my worker here and and everybody's like, well what's the HiveOS kernel? So what that is is you come down here to the bottom section and it has all this you know, all your, you know, specifications, you know, like I'm using the H510 Pro VTC board and all those other things. But you come over here to system type Linux, and this is the actual HiveOS kernel image that you're using. So we're using 5.10.0 number 83, which this is pretty new. I've recently updated the kernel on this particular rig, but maybe yours isn't this. Maybe it's much older than this. So if you're trying to dual mine or if you're having trouble with the miner and it's not operating correctly, maybe you've had the rig up for six months and you've never ever updated your kernel. Um, I, re I recommend updating your kernel and your drivers. I would say a good time would be three months um, uh, just to avoid instability in your rigs. It's really easy to do. You could do this. So, um, so the first thing you want to do is, is you want to type in hive dash replace space 
list list and then hit enter okay and then what's going to happen is is it's going to download the HiveOS images from HiveOS and these are all the images that you could use now if you come up here to the top you could come up here and see that this right here is the newest image which is why it's called a beta um, so your kernel see my kernel is 5.10.83 and then the newest kernel and beta doesn't mean that you want to use it that means that this is the newest one they've had they're still actively testing it for all other kinds of configurations um, to me whenever you're updating the kernel you're going to want to go with the stable version because that's what they've known to work it has the least amount of problems so you always want to go over here to the stable so latest stable version and this is the kernel version this is the nvidia drivers that will be on your rig as well as the amd uh, drivers as well so it would be so before you type in your number like you know you'd want to choose number one for stable before you do that you need to come over here i'm going to use my test bench as an example so we're going to click stop miner you you want to stop the miner before you do these uh upgrades um you don't because it, it just makes it a little bit quicker and it makes it not like have any errors and things like that so stop the miner you're going to click one and then you're going to click enter and then it's going to ask you if you want to do this and then you're going to type yes and then you would hit enter now i already have this particular image so i don't need to do this it is very important though after you hit yes and enter it will download the newest hive os image you do not want to turn the rig off or restart it or stop the download in any way or else you're going to have a problem and then you're going to have to reflash hive os to you know your ssd so make sure to not disconnect the power let it do its thing it's going to take some time i would say about 15 20 minutes depending upon internet connection and what type of cpu and you know hardware you have um so after after you do the yes and enter and it downloads and installs you will then have it, the rig will reboot and then you will see that you have the hive os 1.0.0 uh, 1 number 83 and that's the most stable version so that's how you guys update your kernel it's pretty easy and straightforward um, just make sure you do not turn off the rig or disconnect the internet um, it does take time like i said so just be patient with it um, if you're trying to dual mine and you're having problems with dual mining you definitely need you have to update your kernel or else it will not dual mine now the next thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about nvidia drivers um, the amd drivers get updated with the kernel um so but nvidia drivers you're gonna have to you're most likely gonna have to update those a little more frequently than the amd drivers so we're back here at our starting menu for our uh our hive os shell so the, the command that you're going to want to use is is going to be nvidia dash driver dash update space dash dash list and then you're going to hit enter okay and then it's going to load up all these drivers here and then it's going to tell you my installed version since i already have the most stable one but it was going to tell you your installed version which is going to be in green and mine is four zero or four seven zero point one zero three point zero one and then so if your drivers are out of date it'll it'll have a different number and then on the stable version this is the version you're going to want to go with which is 470.103.01 which is what i have but if you don't have that version and you're a few versions back and you're trying to dual mine on like a lithium or ton and you're having some rig stability issues you're gonna need to update your kernel as well as your nvidia drivers or else it's not going to mine properly so to do this um, this is a little bit different than the kernel you can't just hit number one because there are no number ones you actually have to type the actual specific driver version you want to use so 
we would just see the white stable version over here in the bottom left and we would just type in 470.103.01 and then you would hit enter so it gave me a warning on my particular rig because i obviously already have this um particular um driver version on my rig but you would just type that 470.103.01 um, as more NVIDIA drivers come out, the stable version will change. So you'll have to come back here and look at your NVIDIA driver update list and then always pick the stable version because you will see that there are two more versions past the stable version, but there hasn't been enough testing and time to say that that version is stable. So I don't ever go above the stable version. Uh, that's just me personally so you can go to the newest version if you like but that could cause some stability issues so just keep that in mind all right guys so that's today's video i hope it was pretty informative this should help you if you have any you know instability in your rigs or if rigs keep restarting rebooting or you can't dual mine or maybe your miner whatever miner you're using isn't working properly so these are some of the things that every miner should know how to do. Um, those using the Hive shell and then updating your kernel and then updating your NVIDIA drivers is extremely important. There is a few basic Linux commands or at least the Hive OS commands that you will need to know uh, so you can keep your rigs up to date and that way you can have the least amount of downtime and that way you can stay the most profitable. So this is the Mining King giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.